Man, it's hard to make a short video when there's so much stuff going on. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff going on. So let's see here. Let's get right to it. And again, thanks. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all your warnings. I appreciate that too. But I'm telling you, I'm not concerned. <laughs> right? And if really, if they are going to move against a guy like me and I get like a thousand, two thousand, you know, views at the max on one of my videos, then yeah, it's pretty dark. Right? But, but I'm not concerned, really. Um, people sending me private messages and... Uh, anyway, bottom line, let's talk about the small stuff. We'll go from big to small. Small stuff, drug war, small stuff, right? The big war, still small stuff. I mean, the war in Iran, still not the main thing. The main thing is the Federal Reserve. I have a bunch of links down here for you guys to use. Use the links. There's all kind of stuff to use. I mean, and here's a good one for, uh, you know, the CNN sponsors, the debate advertiser and a sample uh, advertising list and the... Uh, or advertiser list and a sample letter that you could that you could write to them about you know how Paul got 15 uh, he was allowed to speak 15 times Romney 26 times right so there's a list there a letter that you can write because they don't care they don't care about you they don't care about me they care about your money so if you tell them that you're not going to give them your money and there's a lot of Ron Paul supporters watch these videos right you can see they're coming out in droves and a difference between Ron Paul supporters and all the other supporters is they're not going to flip from one to another Right? In fact, I know a lot of Ron Paul supporters that if Romney gets the nomination, they're not going to vote for him. And there's no way he's going to win without the Ron Paul supporters. It's as simple as that. Same thing with Newt Gingrich, which is ridiculous. He's not a front runner. Neither is Rick Santorum. Now, we need to clean up the vote. It's as simple as that. And trying to ignore it and pretend like it's not a problem is not, you know, is not the, good, the way to go. Right? People are like, oh, it's just whining about... No, it's not whining. This vote needs to be cleaned up. Not just for Ron Paul, but for your kids. Right? For everybody. Right? Democrat or Republican, the vote needs to be cleaned up. Right? Ron Paul would be a beneficiary this time, but everybody is a beneficiary if we clean up the vote. So the idea is authenticate and verify. Florida is so rigged that they're not even going to spend a lot of money going down to Florida for the Ron Paul campaign. They're not saying that, but that's the main reason. Right? <laughs> I mean, this whole concept that, oh, the reason why he's not going down to Florida is because the support for the other guys is so much nonsense. Watch the videos. The support for Ron Paul is huge everywhere, all across this nation, including Florida. They're, they're for Ron Paul in droves. And like I said, you guys got video camera? Take your video camera and just yell at those people. How many of you guys plan on voting for Ron Paul? Right? Because the, the nonsense bullshit story that they're trying to feed you is that all these people will come out and wave signs, right? Stand on the side of the road, wave sign for hours at a time. Wherever Ron Paul goes, they're following him now. There's like huge crowds and so forth. They'll go see him speak. They'll go listen to him speak. They'll get out of their house to do all that. But when it comes time to vote, they stay home. They don't go vote. That's the story they're trying to feed you, and it's nonsense. It defies common sense. That one guy that had the thing about web searches, and right? people are like, well, those are just web searches. So they didn't even search for Rick Santorum. They didn't even search Newt Gingrich. They did search for Ron Paul, and then after seeing all about Ron Paul and all his wildly popular positions on the drug war, on on you know trade, on the on ending the Fed, on you know. TSA and getting a cut, you know, balancing the budget and just all the common sense stuff he, he says. They looked at all that stuff and then without even checking to see what Santorum or Gingrich had to say, they went out and voted for him. That's the kind of logic and common sense that, you know, the American people have, right? Nonsense. Too many people can see that and go, hmm. And, on, and also in the past, all those searches are very indicative of who people are going to vote for. But not in Iowa, not in New Hampshire, not in South Carolina, right? This is why they want SOPA and PIPA and ACTA and all this stuff, right? Because they would like to curtail the Internet to the point where this information becomes very difficult to get. Right? And then same thing with me. It's like, wouldn't it be great if they could stop me from putting all the links beneath these videos? Well, that's, that's the idea. Same thing with Ron Paul. Ron Paul says some very, very popular things. So, of course, they're going to try and media blackout him. Right? Well, not try. They're being very successful about blacking him out. Of course they're going to, you know, not give him a fair shake. Because how many people stand to lose? Look at this stuff. Just that one video. Look at the one about where's the money. Where is the money? It's trillions of dollars. What if uh, Ron Paul gets in there and his attorney general actually enforces the law and we have a republic again where we're a nation of laws. We enforce the laws that are already on the books. We don't need new laws. We need, right? In fact, we need to repeal a lot of the unconstitutional laws, and people are very concerned about that because those unconstitutional laws make them money, right? 
So Ron Paul comes along talking about repealing laws and enforcing the ones that we already have. Wow, these people are, you know, they're, they're running like pigs from a gun. So, you know, and so where do they run? They run to the mainstream media and tell them, you know, you got to shut this guy down, which is what they're trying to do. So you need to authenticate and verify. And we look forward to all the other stuff that's going on, right? All the stuff that's happening. But the guys that in South Carolina, New Hampshire, and Iowa, you can't keep silent. You can't be like, okay, well, that's over. We're going to just look at the, look forward. That's what Obama did on torture. Just look forward, right? We're not going to prosecute these torturers, these criminals. We're just going to look forward, right? Well, you know, they, they've already murdered your wife, so let's just look forward. No, you prosecute. You have to live your life. You have to go on, but you still prosecute the guy that killed, right? So it doesn't happen again, so they're not allowed to do it again. This is the same principle. So, you know, they're not, I mean, right? In South Carolina, and there's tons of links now, people scratching their head. How can, in an evangelical state, how did he, Newt Gingrich, win with his marital record? Just on that alone. The, 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 so, right? All those evangelicals look the other way, right? All the Tea Party guys, strong Tea Party state. They didn't come out for Ron Paul? Hmm. All those senators, right, state senators endorsing Ron Paul? And still, right? Come on. Okay, so what you need to do is authenticate and verify. Go out there and see how many Ron Paul supporters in each precinct there were that actually will come out and say they voted for him. And then check the record. Get your printout and check it. Same thing in Florida. Like I said, in Florida coming up, they're trying to sell you the story that, oh... Ron Paul isn't that popular in Florida. The other two guys right, said it wasn't worth spending money. No, what's unspoken is Florida is rife with vote fraud. It is GOP vote fraud central. Right? <laughs> the 2000 election should have made that perfectly clear. And if you take a look, I mean, again, I have links there. They're not even going to figure out how to count the vote until after the vote. Right? They're not even going to figure out what to do until after. I mean, just look at Florida is just ridiculous. All right, he's hugely popular in Florida because his positions are hugely popular everywhere. They're common sense positions. Right? So, in Florida, again, verify. And this is the thing. Take your camera, you guys. It's great. I've got video of, you know, people standing on the side of the road waving signs, right? There's thousands of them, literally thousands of them. Thousands of them come out and watch him vote. Or watch him vote. Watch him speak. And they don't go vote. Nonsense. That's the story that they're trying to feed you. So, when you put your camera on those people, yell at them and ask, you know, make some noise. How many of you guys are going to vote for Ron Paul in the primary? Just in the primary. Not just supporters. How many are going to vote for in the primary? Right? And listen to how many cheer. Right? All those people are showing up for Ron Paul. Okay. And they're being robbed. So you need to verify, right? Authenticate and verify. Every precinct, all the time. And we expose it. We expose it. The mainstream media is not exposing it. The mainstream media, the newspapers, they're not going to put it in the newspapers. The blogosphere. Until we make it so absolutely clear where people can actually show, right? documentation, look, this is how many people told me that they voted for Ron Paul in this precinct, this is the printout from the precinct, and th these are the numbers, and here's the discrepancy. Simple as that. Okay, and we can, Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, we look back and take care, I mean, keep exposing the fraud as we look forward. Right, we don't just forget about it. Iowa people need to still make noise. These people need to be exposed. New Hampshire, same thing. South Carolina, where it was 100% electronic voting, needs to be exposed. Who exposes it? Us. Right? And when I say us, I mean you guys. You guys. Some of you guys are coming out and making videos, but more people get to get out there and make videos. Don't be afraid. Right? Do your damn duty to the Republic. All right? Each and every one of us has to do a part. This is self-governance. Everybody has to do their part. That, that includes you. So when it comes to time in your state... Oh, I see people saying, oh, we got electronic voting machines in my state, so I don't know what to do. Well, what you need to do is, you know, organize the Ron Paul supporters that go down to the precincts and vote. Make sure they talk to the other Ron Paul supporters and get a number for each precinct. How many guys voted for Ron Paul? All right, and then you wait for your printout, and when you get the printout, you see if it matches. Now, if they know they're doing, that we're doing this in advance, there'll be less chance of tampering and fraud, won't there? Okay, and it has to happen in every damn precinct. Because otherwise they just flip the votes, right? Because he has such a huge swell of support that if they flip a few votes on those voting machines, right, they change, you know, in a few precincts, just doing the math again, I'm going to try and sit here and write it down for you. But if he's got 50% of the vote, then just think about it. They don't need a whole lot of precincts to flip, do they? Get it? Okay, so you need to watch every single precinct, not just the big ones, right? Not just, you know, all of them, as many as you can. So, all the Ron Paul supporters, you need to expect fraud, because that's what's coming. 
so you need to head it off at the pass. I've been saying this since Iowa. I've been saying this since day one, since long before Iowa, actually. This is what you do. You don't put your head down. You don't, you know, you don't go to the bar and, oh, man, we can't win. They're going to fix it. No, you get out there and watch the vote. Get out there and organize. You work ten times harder. Right? They got voting machines in your, in where you're at. Fine. Find out how many people voted in your precinct. How do you do that? You have to organize. Right? And I, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and tell you all the details. You're smart enough to figure this stuff out. Right? What can you do? All right? Think about what you can do and then go do it. Right? You guys taking videos, like I said, all those people on the side of the road, talk to them. Right? Ron Paul supporters, we it's a family. Right? My Ron Paul bumper sticker, I get all kinds of interesting comments, and I make friends everywhere I go with that thing. In, 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 in Maui, in Hawaii, right? Or on Maui, excuse me, not in Maui. I hate that. On Maui, uh, all over the place. People are, are you know, it's amazing. Because this is a democratic state. Make no mistake, Maui is a, de- is a bastion of the Democrats. But yet, Ron Paul has a lot of popular support here, too. So in places where, you know, like Florida, there's no question. In places, I mean, Nevada and other, there's no question he's got huge support. You need to authenticate and verify because they're trying to take the votes. And again, just on a delegate count, Ron Paul comes out ahead because they couldn't get Rick and Newt on all the ballots. Because they couldn't even get 500 signatures in nine districts in Indiana. Right? Virginia, name the states. There's like 534 delegates that they don't even have access to because they're not on the ballots in those states. They can't win. Ron Paul is the front runner, not Newt, not Santorum, and the other. Well, okay, and the other guy I'll give right the corporate stooge, Romney, definitely has support of money because I tell you what, Romney and you know the Bushes and the Clintons, it's the same camp. Right, these guys are in one. Right, that's the. It's the same, and and now Barack Obama is with them also, so you have all those guys and Ron Paul, right? So four candidates, three of the same on the Republican side, and one guy oddball that sticks out. That'd be Ron Paul, and then the guy that's basically the same flavor as the other three, but he happens to have a D behind his name. People are not fooled anymore. I'm telling you, and I'm telling you, there's a ton of Democrats that are for Ron Paul. You don't see, you know, there's no uh, first-time voters for Mitt Romney. First-time voters for, right? But there's a lot of first-time voters, people that are coming out of the woodwork to vote for Ron Paul. They're everywhere, right? People are changing parties to vote for Ron Paul. Nobody's changing parties to vote for the other guys. Nobody. All right. Work ten times harder. I'm telling you, we got this. Just work ten times harder. I believe in the American Renaissance. Oh, one last thing. I'm not afraid of the military. Why are you guys afraid of the military? If he brings the military home, I'm telling you, who's the military? Right? Our sons and daughters, our brothers and sisters, our moms and dads. That's who the military is. They come home, we are safer, we are more secure with those guys home. Because who was coming out to the Occupy Wall Street, you know, all those veterans and some of those guys active duty, right? Those were the guys that were coming out to tell the cops to chill out, right? Because they swore an oath to the Constitution to uphold, right, the Constitution and I'm telling you, there's nothing to be afraid of. Those guys come home. There's always going to be bad men that take money to do bad things. But the majority of the military are not bad men. The majority of the military are guys, idealistic guys, that swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. And why not have them come home and spend their paychecks here, just, you know, as a side benefit? But also, I'm telling you, the elite want them in other countries because they don't want the military at home, here at home. Because if the mass of the military is here in the United States, they come home from overseas, I guarantee you that if they tried to give orders that were unconstitutional, let's leave it at that, uh, many of the men in the military would not follow those orders. Right? Don't be afraid of the military. Them, them, them is us. Right? And again, bringing home the military, wildly popular. Right? Everywhere, everybody's got family serving in these silly wars. And they know they're silly, and they just pray every night that their sons and daughters and moms and dads come home, you know, in one piece. All right, enough. But the the idea is, you know, we got a good thing going here. And just ten times harder, work ten times harder. That's all it is.